art evangelista when I was a bit thin. I was the last one to to find out. <gasps> Losing a one carat diamond. Deep inside this heart of mine. Hi, I'm Kai with Bria, Michelle, Jessica, and Gia, and you're watching G Talk. Will you marry me? Okay. The essence of a man is to take care of the woman he loves. I have the perfect marriage to follow. There is love attraction. Sir Gary, there's a show called G Talk and they, yep! She's a singer, actress, and influencer. She's a certified diamond specialist from Gemology Institute of America, the most well respected and renowned diamond grading entity. She runs a jewelry shop called Radiant Lux Jewelry with her friend Happy Marnique. She is the daughter of the veteran actress, Nadia Montenegro. Please welcome the beautiful Ina Asistio. Hi! So thank you for being on G-Talk and we would like to get to know another side of you. So let's play G-Talk's two-minute alphabet game. <laughs> okay. In this fast-paced game, we will mention yeah. words, phrases, and people and you will respond with the first word that comes to mind. And we girls are going to refrain from making any comments during the game. Not if we can help it, okay? <laughs> are you ready for the hot seat, Ina? Oh yes, I'm ready. <laughs> Jessica will start us off. A. Assumptions about you. I must wing it. B. A funny bridezilla moment. Every time my siblings touch my card. C. Most beautiful local celebrity. For me, Liza Rivera. D. Diamond drama. Losing a one carat diamond. E. What to do with the ring when couples break off the engagement? We sell it again. F. The fear of failure. I'm not afraid of failure. It's just we have to keep trying. G. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. Yes, I definitely agree. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. H. Favorite high school memory? Me being one of the cast of Sound of Music. I decent proposal. Uh, never. J, share something juicy about yourself. I enjoy doing dog barks. <laughs> hey, thoughts on karma? Karma is karma. What goes around comes back around. So we have to be smart about everything that we do. L, best place to keep old love letters. <laughs> I have my own locker in my room. So yeah, that's where I keep everything. M, a celebrity you're mistaken for. Art evangelista when I was a bit thin, when I was thinner. <laughs> but now it's more of Fritz Azul. And a childhood nickname you didn't like. No, I like all my nicknames. They call me Ian, Ian, Ian Alex, Ina, so Ian. My, well, my dad calls me out because I'm in. Oh, thoughts on online courtships or dating. I'm not against it. Can find love anywhere, but I haven't done it. P, the sweetest wedding proposal you've seen. Oh, when my when my brother and I proposed to him because we've been together for eight years, so seeing that one a wonderful magical moment is just um unforgettable. Q, a question you often ask yourself in the mirror. Why are you being hard on yourself? For our sibling rivalry. My sister Iga, the fourth one, clash all the time. Mm -hmm. But I'm used to it, you know. I'm older than her, so I have to control myself. <laughs> and be a good example. As sing one line from your fave go-to Hugot song. And I'll always love you. T, a trait you inherited from your um, parents. Sharing my blessings with others. You, most unusual fan request. They'll be like, I um, know you don't know me, but I hope we can be. Especially when I'm in their um when when I'm in their like location or their province. They they really try. V, your worst Valentine's date. Oh my gosh. Maybe the worst Valentine's I ever had was finding out my boyfriend got my favorite love you. Worst breakup line in your teens. It's not you, it's me. <laughs> X, an X Men superpower you'd want to have. I want to be invisible. Y, note to your 18 year old self. Whatever you've been through made you better and stronger now. And Z, the best way to friend zone someone. Just be honest about what you feel about them and just don't make them pass. The, the boyfriend who got some is an actor also so oh. <laughs> 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 yeah we were together for six years oh my god how did you find out i was the last one to, to find out 
Yeah, yeah, we were in the same network and then we weren't okay that time and then we just we actually found out randomly. Like one one staff from that network asked my tita, the sister of my mom, like how's Ina and then how is she taking everything and then she was like, "Yeah, she's fine." That's how we found out. My tita called my mom saying that they know this and then my mom thought I was hiding it then I didn't oh. know about it. But I'm friends with her and I with his ano Beyonce, no. oh, oh, I so, so. <laughs> what happened to you when you found out it took a long time for me to move on but you know I had to face it maybe it was uh, I just looked at it as maybe it was God's way of saying that it's time for me to leave the relationship because I was I was holding on to it uh, you know being an actress and being with someone who's famous you'd be like you'll do everything to prove every everyone that you can you can be together or you can face everything but after that it was really a wake-up call for me na no more it's like you know it's not just me even the people around me and my family yeah. but uh, <laughs> I forgave him right away because for me, I won't be able to move on if I I hold grudges. Did you call him right away? I asked. Uh, it, uh, we were supposed to meet each other for Valentine's. So I asked him and then well, he, he couldn't deny it anymore. And then, no, oh no, I don't know if I'm, I just, I'm supposed to share this. But to the point that we were still talking while he was visiting the girl. So I thought it was like a worst thing. I I've got a worst thing. Yeah, but you know, Valentine's now for me is for my family. So <laughs> that's a good way to look at it. Mm-hmm. I would have. <laughs> Another stressful story is you losing diamonds. What? Yes, yes I, I always um I always lose our diamonds because what we do is we it, of course we do um inventory and then we use tweezers to get the diamonds. And sometimes it, it just snaps. So it took me like three hours to four hours just to look for one diamond. I had to I had to remove all the shelves. I had to remove everything from the office. I wasn't able to work because I was looking for that certain diamond. Which is the color? The color is the highest color. <laughs> so it's like a two million piece. So I was crying already. Like I was saying sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> And we saw on Instagram that Tom Rodriguez. Yeah, he um he what he did was build his uh build, build his own ring. So we have um Radiant has the first ever build your own ring. You can make your own rings, not just for engagement ring or wedding ring. You can make your like your self love ring or whatever. How does it work? So um build your own ring is from the from the choosing of the gold, from melting the gold, from um from fo- forming, molding the gold to flattening it, to flattening it, to turning it into a band. So Tom and- did it on his own. Mm-hmm. Oh. With the help of our goldsmith and happy, but um, most of the it's it's really easy. So um, we just guided him throughout. How long? Whole, how long is the process? It's about an hour or two. Yeah. But now we're de- developing our um our workshop. We're upgrading it to have more rooms. How did you come up with making custom rings and having people do that themselves? I just think that it's so cool to involve somebody in that process. When you say jewelers, it's like the same. You go to a store, they ask for your budget, what you want, but we do it differently. We really teach um, our clients about diamonds, like the four C's from the color, that clarity, thought, carrot. So everything, everything that you need to know about diamonds. And um, what's nice about it is um, we give out all informations that that usually our clients need. Being young, so it's hard to be here uh, in this industry, knowing that the people who are jewelers are really, um, you know, um, not not our age. Yeah. So now that uh, my millennial na sa, sa jewelry industry, we want to be different. That, that's why I told you that we're the first um, jeweler who, who offers this because it's really unusual to offer something like this. But for us to give the full experience to our clients, we will do our best to, to fulfill that. That's a very good idea. Because you said the best place to keep old love letters, you said in the locker. So did you keep the love letter of your ex? He never gave me a love letter, so it's not. Oh, like he was a <laughs> He was never the one. Exactly. That's how you know. They 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 send SMS, so it's more of screen caps. No, there was no breakup line anymore. 
when he told me about it, I, I instantly stopped talking to him. But actually, I tried to work it out. Yeah, I, 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 I tried, but uh, I couldn't anymore. That's how much I loved him. <laughs> you have a good heart and you're very forgiving. And maybe because I was young. For your um, worst breakup line, did you say it or did someone say it to you? Someone said it to me. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Was it that guy or no? <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, <laughs> because, no, because his, his explanation is like, you know, I come from, you know, my family. A strong family, a known family. It was hard for him to adjust, I guess. Yeah, for six years. But he was actually we were like brothers and sisters. Eh? Was, that's how close we got. Eh? We he got close to the whole family. He was in my house every day. But I don't get to spend time with him. He's always with my family. <laughs> like sometimes <laughs> I'm in school and when I get home, he's there. He's with my mom, and I'm like, oh, you're here. Like you said, you're hidden. You're lacking. Lacking. Oh, <laughs> Okay, yeah. boys. This is my tent because we used to scare, you know, our the cats or our dogs also. <laughs> this for a small dog. Like Chihuahua, Pico Chihuahua. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my wow! God. <laughs> that sounds oh like a God. real dog. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're a big dog. Golden Red River. <laughs> Labrador. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Would it scare your pet, your dogs? It yeah. sounds like a real dog. They get scared. Yeah, they'd be like, they're gonna look for it, and I'm like laughing, <laughs> <laughs> like running around. Oh, so, yeah! Wow. Thank you so much for being on G Talk. It's been yeah. really, really fun. You are such a good daughter. It's not easy to juggle showbiz and school, but you managed to get a college diploma in six years. You went into the diamond business without knowing anything about it, but you did the hard work, and now you run a very successful diamond business. You work hard for what you want because you know it won't come to you without a fight. You are such an inspiration. Thank you for sharing your story today. Thank, Thank you so you. much. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for having me. And if you want to try the build your own ring or you want to buy an <laughs> for, for you guys or for others just check our instagram it's at radiant.lux.jewelry or you can personally message me because even if um, we use our instagram i reply to everyone and so we love having you <laughs> <laughs> thank you and we leave you with this quote by farrah gray build your own dreams or someone else will hire you to build theirs thanks for watching